So you're thinking about buying a house and you want to know how much it's going to cost to buy a house. A lot of people get really focused on the down payment, but there are other costs associated with it. So let's get you prepared. Today, I'm going to break it down. Let's talk about what those fees are and see how much you do need to save. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I typically specialize in helping people sell their house, whether they're retiring, downsizing, moving out of the area, people that have inherited properties. I do probate sales. Uh, but today, I'm going to talk about helping people buy a house and what the costs are associated with that. I'd say about 30% of my business is helping buyers, so I still do that. Uh, and a lot of times, buyers come to me thinking, you know, well, Annie, this is how much I'm going to have for my down payment whether it's a 3.5% down payment, which is typically the lowest, although VA loans, you can do 100% finance, so you don't have to put anything down, but you still have closing costs. Um, more common, I see 10% down or 20% down payments. A lot of times to get the best rate, you really should have 20% down payment. Well, let's talk about what these other costs are other than your down payment. Well, if you're getting a loan, the lender will probably charge some fees. They call them origination fees. Sometimes you can get away without doing that, or they can put that in with your loan. There's some creative ways to do that. But if you're paying up front, you have to know what they're gonna charge. Uh, they're gonna charge you to have an appraisal done on the house. Typically, that's around $600. The lender will also charge you for um, your credit report. They're going to pull your credit score. They will also be checking to make sure it's not in a flood zone. So there's a flood certification uh, document that they need. There are the transfer taxes. So depending on what city you're buying in, so if you're in San Jose, Mountain View, or Palo Alto, there's a city transfer tax. In Santa Clara County, that fee is split 50-50 between the buyer and the seller. There's what's called title insurance. So the Alta policy or the CLTA policy, it's basically protecting you uh, from any title defects. What if there's a mechanics lien against a property? What if there's an encroachment that wasn't discovered at the time of purchase? Some of these things can you know, be discovered after you've moved in. And truthfully, it actually happened to me. About three weeks after we had moved in, we got a knock at the door, honestly, a knock. Someone came to our house and there was a loan that had been attached to that house uh, from the previous owner. He was a dentist. He had some kind of business loan for his dental practice, but it was attached to the house, not his business. And they didn't find it when we bought the house. Thank God we were protected. So that's what title insurance is for. You want it to protect you. Then there are also things depending on whether you are impounding your property taxes and insurance, or if you're going to pay them on your own outside of escrow. But if you are doing the impounds, they will require so much upfront of your insurance and of your property taxes. So not only are you paying the property taxes if they're due, you know, at the moment of purchase, but you have to pay in advance. So be prepared for some of that. In HOA community, there could possibly be HOA transfer fees or fees to the lender. Uh, that they'll need certain HOA documents that the buyer has to pay for for the lender. And then there's a couple things that can be negotiable. A home warranty, for example. Sometimes the seller pays, sometimes the buyer pays, and sometimes you split it. Kind of depends on how competitive the offers. Um, if there's a multiple offer situation, sometimes it's a good idea for the buyer to pay. One last thing for the seller to have to pay, and you might get the house because of a $500 swing. And of course, the escrow company uh, has some fees for handling all the paperwork. They're the ones that make sure all the numbers add up exactly as they're supposed to. So they also will provide what's called a closing document. And I get that as soon as we get into escrow. I can ask for one as an example, if you like a house and you want to have an idea before writing an offer what the cost might be. I can even get that beforehand. But I'm going to walk you through one so you can kind of see how they itemize it. And I also have a little trick, an easy way to kind of figure out how much your closing costs will be. But let's look at the form first. So here's an example of a closing statement. It's also called a buyer's settlement statement. In this example, the purchase price is $965,000. The buyer immediately put in their 3% earnest deposit, which is required. That shows good faith to the seller that the buyer really intends to buy the property. 
So that's held in escrow until the close. So that's showing as a credit. Then we get into some of the loan fees. So they were doing an 80% uh, loan. So their mortgage amount is 765,000. Uh, if they had to pay interest for one day because I think we are closing um, a little bit later than expected. So here's the um, loan origination fee, the points to the lender. They're paying $2,800. Processing fees, the appraisal fee is actually they down here, they paid $500 up front. So here's just an extra fee that they still owed. Um, the credit report fee, here is the, LUD, the flood documents that were needed. Um, and then they were also impounding their insurance and property taxes. So the home insurance needed to be collected up front. I believe it's uh, the, the first year is collected up front. Home warranty, we split this with the seller this time. So usually home warranty is around five to $600, depending if there's air conditioning or pool, pool equipment, all the appliances and whatnot. So the buyer was paying half here. The escrow officer will always uh, prorate the property taxes. So if the sellers paid them up front and um, the buyer needs to pay their portion of what they're going, when they'll be living in the house and they credit that back to the seller. Loan time fee, this is a escrow fee that um, the escrow company charges for tying in, you know, handling all the fees with the lender and incorporating that so all the numbers work. Notary fees, I think I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, and then here's the Alta and the CLTA uh, policies. So you're protecting yourself against any title defects and the lender knows that they're protected as well. And then we have all the recording fees for uh, Santa Clara County. So there are fees to record you as the new owner um, and there you go. Oh, and then here's the city transfer tax too. It was in San Jose, so we split this. This was half of the city transfer tax. The seller always pays the Santa Clara County transfer tax fee, but the city is split. So there you have it. So let's look up here. The sales price is 965 and they have to bring in, gosh, almost $1,200 more um, for closing costs. So as I said, I have a little trick about what I tell buyers. I tell buyers to always tack on 1% of whatever the purchase price will be. That will probably be the ballpark figure of what your closing costs will be. And in the example I just showed, just a tad over 1%. But there you go, an easy way to figure it out so you can be prepared. On top of your down payment, add on another 1% of the purchase price and that's pretty much a round figure of what you're gonna to have to bring to the table to close for your house. So go below in the comments. I have a little link that you can set up a 15 minute free consultation. If you wanna talk about your specific scenario and buying and some specific questions you have, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's what I'm here for. So if you liked anything I had to say, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I see you in another video. But until next time, have a great one.